Overnight, flash flooding in Boulder, Colorado. The sirens have just sounded again in Boulder. As growing floods have cut off almost every road to the city of nearly 100,000 people. This is uh, at 36 in Apache and Mohawk. 2013, we had a major flood event. It happened in various parts of the city, but the worst was the South Boulder Creek. And we had people who literally were in danger of losing their lives. During the 2013 floods, the water in our neighborhood rose so rapidly that my husband and I were forced to evacuate our house, wading out in thigh deep water. It was the most terrifying night of my life. On the night of the flood, we had people, 56, I believe, that night, uh, half of them with Alzheimer's. Someone came running down the hall saying, get to higher ground, get to higher ground. The last people I remember being pushed out, the water in that courtyard we were pushing with wheelchairs was thigh deep. We're very fortunate that nobody died during the evacuation. Boulder County was considered a disaster area. In 2015, the university worked with the city and the county to develop a plan for the property. And in that, we offered 80 free acres to the city for their flood mitigation project. We also agreed not to develop 99 acres of the property and only develop 129 of the 308. This project was moving forward very well. All of a sudden, a lot of people came out of the woodwork with their own personal interests that really have little to do with protecting the people of the city. They wanted to stop the project. They came up with all kinds of roadblocks, and the project has been delayed and delayed and delayed. There really is a sense of urgency because the flood can happen any time. We don't have to wait for 100 years. We don't have to wait for 200 years. It can happen tomorrow or the next day. We're six years past the flood, and from my viewpoint, we're no further along than we were in 2015. As all of our campuses are, they'll be open to the public. Uh, there'll be trail connections to the South Boulder Creek trails. Uh, there'll be recreational fields that will be available through partnerships with uh, other community groups such as BBSD. I'm really grateful that CU has allowed the public to access their properties for dog walking, running, horseback riding, biking. It's excellent. And I understand that they're going to continue that. Bottom line, the most important thing is flood mitigation and protecting human life. One of the key roles for a city council is to protect the health, safety, and welfare of its citizens. And I really, really urge the citizens of Boulder to take this issue on and to really require city council to act and act responsibly. I feel very strongly that the city of Boulder has an obligation to its citizens to act on their behalf to ensure that something like this never happens again. I feel like I and my neighbors have been to some extent abandoned. It's six years since the event and nothing really has happened. At some point you need to stop the analysis and you need to act. And I expect council to act.